President, our Deputy President, Prime Cabinet, all the leaders, Mama Eileen, together with your children and the Ogola family, I bring condolences from our family, our children and the members of our family. The death of General Ogola has really affected us. Just like the President had said and many leaders, he was a fine man. And he was a man that we loved so much, a man that dedicated his time and everything. Most people have been affected. I think they knew personally, and when the news came, you know, they just kept saying, "Of not General Okeha," and we don't have lost any other soldiers also in the crash. Our condolences to their families. May the Lord comfort you. I bring also condolences from Prophet Teresa Wajimu. And she said that there are so many people in this country that you do not know that are praying for you at this difficult time. May the Lord comfort you. I know we have talked many times. I met you during one of the uh, functions uh, where General was, and we got to know one another. And uh, we'll continue just to pray for you. And together with the family, we say, may the Lord strengthen you during this difficult time. God bless you. Thank you, Your Excellencies. I'll request then we be upstanding and call upon his grace to close 